Hello, in this video I am going to cover the basic process that goes into creating a 3D model. And don't you know worry about technically how I am doing any of this. It's a visual aid so you can see the process that goes into creating a simple model. And overall that process is really simple. And yes, it can grow to be rather complicated as your designs become more elaborate and complex, but the process itself remains the same. You begin with basic shapes, such as a cube, a cylinder, or you know, sphere, and start shaping them into more uh, complex shapes. You will add more objects, you shape those, and then combine them into everything else that you've made as you build towards what it is that you set out to create. And through this whole process, you're constantly, you know, shaping and tweaking everything constantly uh, to get what it is you want. Uh, such as here, I didn't know what or how I was going to create this flower. So I just start selecting parts of it and moving them and shaping everything until I can at least get it to be close to what I had envisioned. Never works out the way I want it to, but that's art, I guess. Um, yeah, it can be a tedious process at times, you know, but I think that the reward of creation is at the very least, sometimes more satisfying than the actual act of creation. Um, and there are numerous ways, you know, to achieve the same results in any 3D software. Uh, like this is just a basic example of the modeling process. I could have taken any number of ways um, in which to achieve this end result. You know, it just kind of all comes down to what you're comfortable with and what works for you. It's, and I hope I, you can see that it's fairly simple once you kind of ignore all of the buttons and settings and sliders and everything, which can be quite overwhelming. Uh, but in this instance, for this model, I probably used 2% of the available functions of this software. So you can see, you know, with a few minutes and a few clicks, you can have a decent, you know, simple model. And I hope that, you know, this short example was useful uh, for you and that hey, maybe I may have eased your apprehensions, uh, you know, confusions or fears about 3D modeling. You know, and I hope it encourages you to you know, jump in and give it a shot.